Alright guys, welcome back from the short break that we have taken from this Star Wars saga that I have actually started. Uh, hope you're not bored of this classic already, alright? So anyway, to be honest, uh, let me tell you how I actually got into the Star Wars fandom and stuff. Um, it's actually all because of my parents and why. Uh, I remember when I was really young, uh, uh, my first few movies that I went to see from the cinema was uh, actually Star One of them was actually Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. So obviously because of that, uh, I sort of, you know, continued watching all the other episodes and stuff. And, you know, the other day I was sprinkling my house, or my room rather, I actually found out that we actually had three LP CDs. Um, that was actually, you know, the episodes from 4 to 6, or, or you know, equivalent to 1 to 3 for, you know, the oldies. So, um, you know, it's kind of shocking, you know why, because I'm pretty sure those CDs are definitely older than me. <laughs> that older than me, oh my god. So anyway, um, <laughs> let me move on to this cap, alright. This cap, uh, it's actually a cap that I could have gotten like long time ago, but my friend actually told me that, you know, I shouldn't get it because it looked ridiculous. And you know, I sort of regret it to this day, but thank god, somebody decided to sell me this cap. And this is actually the X-Wing Pilot New Era cap, which actually came out during Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakened. So actually most of the time you see the resistance slash rebel pilots wearing them. But of course the most prominent figure who wore it was actually Luke Skywalker. And I think uh, obviously the Star Wars first film aka episode 4 A New Hope. Ta -da. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 11 standing by. Red 5 standing by. So anyway, trainee pilots, let me go through the details of how the helmet actually looks like, alright? So when you first see the helmet, the most prominent thing that you actually see is actually this reflective yellow material here, which is, um, I guess, I would call it the visor, or the shades. Ding -ding! So it's really bright and reflective when you try to take a photo of it, okay, with flash in a dim light. Let me show you a picture of it because, well, I wanted to try to do it live, more like it. But obviously it failed and I tried earlier on alright, so it was like a very big failure. So hence that's why I had to take a photo with my phone and send it to myself and then of course show it to you guys on the video. Ta-da! So, so much for the fails, but anyway, um, that is how it looks like. So moving on, you can see the rose here, this whole entire part here. It's actually trying to uh, imitate the Mohawk style that the real helmet have. I'm not too sure whether you actually seen the real helmet, but it actually has this like jutting out part all the way back to you know the back of the helmet and stuff and then obviously you can't forget these two symbols here what are these two symbols <sighs> it's actually the rebel alliance slash resistance symbol here which is obviously shaped like a phoenix or a starboard as what as they call it. and this is sort of represented on all the pilot helmets whether is it red or uh, you know blue color you know because there's actually a blue squadron and stuff so let me move here, at the side here we have the New Era logo here, in the red thread with uh, white colour insides for the logo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this part here, eh, I think it's actually like the headphones, you know, because they definitely have to hear orders and stuff, right? So obviously, yeah, there's one part here, there's another part here, just without the New Era logo. So they also have this pattern here, which is quite nice similar to the other side, it's just me making one side actually, it's just that the only special thing is there's a new arrow logo here. And for the back, oh wait yeah, I think about it, the Mohawk style here, it actually goes all the way to the back here, ta-da! And then um, of course like all the other Star Wars hat, you have the Star Wars logo here. Star Wars logo! <coughs> and of course you can't forget the small TM here. Surprisingly, this is actually in black, you know, just for the contrast and stuff. I thought it would be, you know, white or something, or red even. So, of course, since this is sort of new, you have an outward brim here. Ta-da! And, shockingly, there isn't any outward inside here. But don't be sad about it. Because, you know, I got used to it already. And, of course, you can't forget the new arrow logo. Since the body of someone is 738. And the Star Wars logo. So, sadly there isn't a reprint at the moment, and actually there's a Japanese variant to it. It's slightly different, like the visor here is actually like in a 
yellow, cloth-like yellow, but it's still quite bright. And the inside here, instead of it being white, it's actually black color, right? So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this cap, because I definitely did, even after much regrets. So, till the next time guys, rate 5, over and out.